on today's episode of all right we're gonna look at some more leafly reviews let's check out strawberry cough known for its sweet smell of fresh strawberries and an expanding sensation that can make even the most seasoned consumer cough strawberry cough is a potent sativa marijuana strain with mysterious genetic origins however strawberry cough is thought to be a cross of haze and the strawberry fields all right let's check out these all uh reviews here because this one's gonna make us feel energetic uplifted and talkative all right i might have had some already i'm i'm chatting hard over here Ooh, it's gonna make your mouth dry it's gonna make you paranoid and dry they didn't put cough on here they put guaranteed most seasoned consumer will cough like they didn't put harsh all right let's get right into it strawberry cough reviews are you guys ready for this this one's 2016 i found that the strain is very true to its name and that i coughed which hasn't happened in about 15 or so strains immensely happy and i've had a couple fits of laughter i'm just coming of a, a week of fruity pebbles <laughs> <laughs> Fruity pebbles, mob, and the difference in my mood is palpable. So far, I haven't been screwed by the munchies, and that's a big plus for me. I would rate this bag appearance 3 out of 10, but the buzz is certainly 5 star. Is that out of 10 stars, though? I smoked flour in a bowl on the roof of our garage. My eyes are super squinty. This is an A-plus strain. I mellowed the funk out. Um, Chad, have you ever got screwed by the munchies? Because sometimes it, you're at a red light and like the munchies are in front of you and like the light turns green and they're not going and you're like, what? The, go, what the hell? And it turns yellow and it's about to turn red and they still haven't gone and then they go last second and then it's red and you can't go. And it's like, I just really got screwed by the munchies right there. Like, I don't, they really got me, bro. Like, Anyway, 2016 review, nice. A little over seven years ago. Not bad. Cloud nine, the body high. Amazing for relaxation. I really felt the euphoria. Cure leaves. Tea, 24% strawberry. Oh, there's too many emojis in here. I feel like I'm getting scammed by a telegram scammer right now. Uh, strawberry cough manages to be an all energy. Is this Tony Ferguson typing? What is happening right now? Energizing interpolicious sativa super strain while simultaneously calming social anxiety and uh, boosting mental clarity slash mood. Aroma, flavor, smooth smoke. Highly recommend. Those newbies, please start with one to two. <sighs> Tony Ferguson typed this review. I'm no weed connoisseur. I can't give an extremely in-depth description of anything I've smoked. This is the longest one we've seen, by the way. I ask for anything for anxiety, sometimes indica, sometimes sativa, sometimes a hybrid. Most of the weed I'm smoked have all been unmemorable. But strawberry cough is hands down my favorite. It's the only weed I've ever cared to remember what it was called in order to go back for it. If a dispensary doesn't have it, I don't shop there. It's the first time I've ever smoked the weed and felt like every stoner stereotype I saw in the movies. Giggly, bubbly, and uplifting. Everything is funny, and the jokes are always flying when I smoke it. Not to mention, my creativity is through the roof, especially when I'm with other people. I screamed high of my ass outside a crowded cheesecake factory. This strain means a lot to me. Bro, what happened? What happened, bro? Did you get your dick sucked in the bathroom? Like, I don't... What happened? This strain means a lot to me, which is not something I thought. <laughs> I say about weed, I shared my first strawberry cough with my parents. All right, I spoke too soon. Smoking strawberry cough with my dad was hands down the best time I've had with him in a very long time. And he was quick to say that his pain had ceased and become bearable. Even a little. 
and he was the happiest I've seen in years. It was like having my dad back. We haven't laughed that hard in a long time, and besides that unnecessary backstory, I can always count on a strawberry cough for a good time and a good laugh every time. Look, Adrian, you're not, you know, I was, I was holding back from trying to say that. You're not supposed to say it. Look, you're not, look, you're not. Look, I had to, I had to hold back from it. Look, that was a good one. There's no can of sore. That was a good one. A, bruh, I picked the wrong voice to read the longest one with. Like, I don't know about that, dude. If you only try 10 varieties of cannabis, strawberry cough will have to be one of them. The effects are immediate, stony, and soaring. Regardless of concentrate or flower, the ensuring high will last a solid hour or two before tapering into a subdued relaxation-inducing stone, making it a great smoke for late afternoons and social evenings. While the usual toke lends good energy, I did find that in higher dosages, strawberry cough's effects begins to lean towards the sedating side and in just the right situations can be wonderful for meditation and inducing dreamy trance-like states of consciousness easily one of my top 10 varieties for sativas creative energetic euphoric focused british I picked up about 15 grams of this three weeks ago and i'm fascinated by the way this sample is changing over time when I brought it home, the pinkish green tight little buds had a faint odor of strawberries and hay and produced very little effects. Over the course of three weeks of curing, the aroma has matured to a brighter strawberry cough and most of the chlorophyll hay smell and flavor has dissipated almost entirely. The effect has improved about a thousand percent. A very strong uplifting Sativa Elevation offers me a more positive outlook on the world and gives me the energy to get ish done. My house is clean. The dishes are done. The kids have freshly laundered clothes for 20 days a week. I pay my bills. My bills are paid. And we're laughing and playing with even more glee than usual. Enjoying the beautiful outdoors over this sunny Seattle weekend. Thank you, Strawberry Cough. <laughs> That's a good review. I like that one. Look. I pay my bills. My bills are paid. From 23rd, this is a 10 year old review. Oh, Jesus. Bro, this solves everything. You got anxiety, you got stress, you got bowel problems, you can't eat, you're chronically depressed. Strawberry cough, dude. Strawberry cough. Let's go. It is the miracle strain. Smoked for my first time before going to a comedy club in Hollywood. Got targeted by two comedians that night, which would have normally caused me major anxiety. After shaking it off the second time and just laughing, I thought something's up. Then I remembered I tried this strain for the first time. After several more times, I can conclude it is amazing for social anxiety. I continue to experience a calm yet super happy social buzz. So he's saying this strain made him heckle the comedians. All right, look, he said he got targeted by both of them. Only 31 people found that helpful? Crazy. I know you are a badass, but if you got this, back off the blunt and move it to the bomb because this is for sure two hit shit. It tastes like the part of a strawberry cough drop right before it becomes nasty. Euphoric and upbeat. 2015. I love every bit of strawberry cough. It hits super well out of a bong and smokes smooth out of a joint. It's almost nostalgic as it brings me back to a simpler time in life. Anyway, I digress. My friends and I have had exhilarating and deep conversations when we smoked. Constantly engaging each other in conversation and welcoming each other's ideas. We had no concept of boundaries of reality. In short, I think it helped break apart people's shell. Let's them loosen up and free themselves of social anxiety. We made the memories we'll forget, but never forget how we made the memories. I would recommend this to groups of three to four people looking for energetic 
an attention grabbing high. It's great for first timers, although they may want to go easy. <laughs> Me and my buddies got high and had a good time. Smoking with your buddies, have a good time. I don't know. I like that one. Only 28 people found it helpful. Hit your eye knives. Great relax your sativa that allows you to get stuff done with a stupid smile stuck to your face. Very happy, bud. Taste was on. A. Hey. Strawberry cough grown by Green Life Productions is amazing. Strawberry cough strain. Super bright orange hairs. Bright green frosty body. And sweet, sweet strawberry like aroma that will make just want to stick in your nose and leave it there for days. Haha. -ha. Love this sativa for a daytime playing video games. Hikes, great energy boost and focus. Makes you feel happy and refreshed without the drowsiness of indicas. Smoke enough, you will. What? Well, what? Bro, don't leave me on a cliffhanger like that. Don't leave me on a cliffhanger like that, dude. I'm hanging on. Having been a novice at the time, my first thought was maybe it was laced. My friend reassured me that the, it was just <laughs> the nature of the dank, and I was able to enjoy the experience. Like, first time they got high, it's, like, it's got to be laced. I'm actually high. Hit any strain hard enough and you're gonna cough. But I don't enjoy this strain because of its ability to make my lungs seize. I love its terpene profile and uplifting effects. And the megaton to punch to the cerebellum. Oy vey. Makes strawberry cough a highly rated strain among even the most seasoned smokers. My lordy. This is the Superman of pot strains and I'm all on fire cleaning my house. I don't even know how I'm taking a break to write this. Probably because you can focus with your ginormous head high and just enough body high to make your pain go numb. There's no couch lock involved here. I think I might be in love. I will forever do my chores on strawberry cough. I'm blasted stone. Don't let the minuscule amounts of smoke fool you. You very much indeed are getting plenty of marriage you want. I'm gonna go scrub my toilet, Superman! That was a good one. <laughs> but they ended the review with Superman. Like, I don't know. They typed out a whole review. This is a Superman apart. They ended it with Superman. Like, I don't know. <laughs> this is a good one right here. Buddy went off right here. Like this dude is really in his bag when he wrote this. Like I don't, I don't know. Like this, this he really did something right here. Like I don't, I don't know, dude. Like shit. Bye.